so what is going on guys so in this video i'm going to show you how to make outro like jurek and this is a popular request from some of my members on discord and i'm going to show you how to do this in after effects and with mine i'm going to use uh this character here from uh, the walking dead normally use the png image of the character he edited uh before we start now let's add our cartoon effect so for this i'm going to pre-compose this and i'll just add my cartoon cartoon paint and i'll go to load preset i'll go for the ink sketch hit on ok and uh, you can still play with the settings so i'll go for something like this and now add our last effect cartoon and you go for the s underscore cartoon load preset so with this i'll go for golden ring so let me go for the golden rim so if you're okay with this you just you can dive into the settings and change some settings but if you're okay select your paint tool and let's make a quick max of him so if you apply the cartoon you normally see some quality is lost so you can add the magic sharp so bcc magic sharp plus you can go to the fx editor and choose uh, we have something like strong boost so you can see we have something like this or uh, super sharpening and just go through and see the one which fits your image i'll go for the strong boost details so so i'll be using this for our so now i'm done with the character here now all we have to do is just bring our background so i created this background in after effects and i'll be using this for the background i will add everything to the project file so let me position my character here let me scale this too you can also use any background you have but i did this background and you can see it's looking very nice so this is our character and this is the background and now all we have to do is just add our test duplicate the test ctrl d and changing from uh, fill to stroke so just change it to stroke and now all we have to do now is create our shape so select your shape tool and just make some shape like so and always go to your properties of your shape and increase the roundness just like this and you can also change the color of the sh of the shape make sure you highlight all your layers and turn on 3d and with the test just select the test and pre-compose them and now now turn on 3d here and now go to new go to camera and select any camera you want and hit on ok and now make sure you enable motion blur here and now go to your tool here so select this tool so go to your camera and make sure you go to transform and turn on the keyframes move it to the frame you want to end and select this tool here and now let's zoom through like this highlight all your keyframes is it ease now go to your graph and make a graph like this so with this uh, i'll go for, for the ellipse tool and i'll just make something like this and just put it behind him like this and add a trim part so you just go to add and add a trim part but if you have the trim pack a uh, plugin or extension just hit on in out and you're going to create a nice animation for you like this so you can see you have animation like this and let's disable the proportional grid and so with this all we have to do now is just loop this so highlight all your keyframes and go to loop and loop your animation so that it keeps on now we can duplicate this ctrl d and now we can move it you can rotate this and we can move it somewhere like here and we can bring it down 
and we can also duplicate it again ctrl d and move it somewhere like here and we can also bring this also down here and we can also change the color if you want so if you play this this is what we have so with this we can also add blocks to this texture blocks and we can always go back and change the color if we desire so we can go for something like this we can add it to all of them we can add the drop shadow and we can also add a deep glow now let's go to the test and now let's create an animation for this so with this just go and let's add a wiggle so position and go here and go to selector wiggler and we have something like this so you can always wiggle them or something like this so we just make a keyframe and just uh, either you can wiggle them like this or like this or like this any one of them just so we have something like this so you can extend the keyframe and with this you can do same for the so you go to the animate and go to position and you go to add and go to wiggle then you copy the same uh, keyframes add it to this so pre-compose this and now add the flux to this and with this all you can do now you just go use any color you want so now everything depends on you so just choose what you want highlight everything uh decompose now how the cc light sweep and now let's make some keyframes and move to the side here and just move this So let's go to our main comp and now all we can do now is add uh, we add some shadow so I'll use the drop shadow and you can add your deep glow and you can do same for our shape layer to add deep glow to this You can add the blue just bring it down so now you select everything pre-compose and go to your uh, red giant and search for rgb and go to rgb and let's choose this we go for this then we go to distortion make a keyframe when it gets here then we're going to reduce the distortion to zero So hit you highlight your keyframe with ease and you can make a graph something like this so guys so basically this is how to create this outro like jurich so i will be leaving the project file in in the, my pay hip so this is i made this in after effect 2025 i'll make sure i'll save it up to after effect 2020 so that you can just go through and uh, look at how i did it and you can also import your own images 
and just follow what i did and use this for your outro please don't sell this don't sell this this is just a free uh project i'm leaving for you guys so uh guys thanks for watching and i'm going to see you in my next video peace